Welcome to the Paperboat Project Kurels. Let's have a chat. What an amazing season season one was. All happened in South Africa and I left the best for last. I'm really sorry, this is not a sailing episode. But as you know, as I told you guys in the screw it, let's do it video, this is not all gonna be about sailing. This is gonna be about making you smile, inspiring people, breathing positivity back into this world, sailing, doing fun stuff, and just being crazy sometimes. Well, this episode, I would like you to, if you can, pick up eight little stones or nine. Between eight or nine stones, pick it up and hold it in your hand. And you're gonna see why we're gonna do that. In season two coming up, we're in Dominican Republic where I am right now at the Paperboat Project crew house with this beautiful boat called Magic Woman. And you're gonna see that all unfold. It's gonna be one hell of a ride. In first, you're gonna say it's impossible what you wanna do, and at the end, I'm pretty sure you're gonna crack a beer with me. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this last episode of season one of the Paperboat Project. Thank you so much to each and every person that has subscribed. It's almost 5,550 people that have subscribed in just a little bit more than six months. Thank you so much. I'd also like to thank Peter and everybody else that's been involved with editing some of these films with me, creating storylines, brainstorming with me, and just wanting to have fun with me. Remember, you are awesome and you can overcome and achieve anything that you want. I promise you that's possible. You will see that in season two. Have a good day and remember, have fun. Okay, that is the cleanest that you will see these buckies this whole trip. We're leaving right now and you are coming on an epic tour with me. Something I've never done before. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. Hold on tight. We're doing a gravelog from Cape Town to Johannesburg. Boy, this is gonna be exciting. This is my seat. I also even have my own nice cup. Ha ha ha. along and let's kick it off. I suggest you zero your odors just for interest sake, zero your fuel economy. Then it just makes it uh, more interesting for you to keep track of everything. Hello, Stefan. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's get the show on the gravel. All right, you guys, it is five minutes or like 15 minutes after we left and we just hit the gravel road. So I believe that this is what it's going to look like for the remainder of the next four days. Finding the first part of the road, lacquer. Good, yeah, it's great. Fantastic. My tummy's a bit wobbly, but okay. Your tummy's a bit wobbly. How's <laughs> <laughs> this baby drive, lacquer? Nice, yeah, it's very smooth, even on the gravel. Nice, sweet. Well, there's the rest of the guys. Hey, hey, hey I'm blogging you, you blogging me. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a tar road. Um, we're gonna stop, and this is how much of a tar experience we're gonna get basically about five seconds of it. Yeah, so we did about 22 meters of tar road. <laughs> okay guys, so there's been a drought in South Africa for a very, very long time. A lot of animals are dying and there's a lot of farmers that's really, really suffering. We are gonna load as much feed as we possibly can and take it to a farmer in the Karoo and we have one two three four five six seven buckies that we're gonna load now with feed and drive it all the way on the gravel roads to the farmer easy boer by the ons can koop it tell yourself how poor man what is it? We're going to get some balls and get some balls with your balls. Yeah, man, great. Good work. Thank you, man. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Ne lähtis nemmas peisulis kõik. Ne lähtis tehtis saad. Suti gool. Kõik maisi. Good job! Thank you! Bye bye! Nii, Siemens not nii, ma trakker sa iets doen nie dan. We're loaded. Loaded with hay. It is time again to open another gate. This is the third one in a very short period of time. This one is a special one. You got all these cars coming. This one's special because it's uh, a wire gate. I used to be a very small boy and open these ones when we went hunting. This is how it works. Goeie back near kerk. There we go. Keep it tight. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise it cooks. Otherwise it cooks. Guys, we are in Riesling Heis. There's only one petrol tank, and we are so many vehicles. Mira, gaan het? Lekker. Wanneer laat jij acht pakjes voor gemak? Zo met balen op. Ja, bij lang. Diesel en gas, baby. Diesel en gas. How's it going in here? Yeah, good thanks. Yeah, how was the drive? It was pretty cool. I almost lost my load. You did. Almost, but I did. Well, I wanted yeah, to know if around. that's yeah, got to do something with start, women drivers. Apparently, according to Kidio, it had nothing to do with me, okay. and his, it was actually all about his bad timing. Ah, okay, this is something that you never see. This is a springbok that is so tame, I think I can even touch it. Come here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that's super cool. Welcome to the paper boat project. We are in Rietlinge Ace. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect! I had to get that. Rietlinge Ace. <laughs> Rietlinge Ace. Have you ever been here? I have never been here. How the hell did we get here? By Bucky. Gravel That's Road. That's how you get here, by Gravel <laughs> Road. <laughs> Just sit in the passenger seat. It's a bargain. <laughs> Guys, we made it to Tonkwa Tented Camp, 1.4 kilometers, and we will be there. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road. I need to be this side. All right, and this is the Tented Camp in the Tonkwa Karoo. If you ever come to South Africa, you have to come and check it out. Look at that boat, that sailboat there up on the hill. I don't know. I'm filming with a Go GoPro now, but there's a sailboat. Look at this cool tent in the middle of the Karoo, guys. Make sure you lock everything. There are snakes and lots of critters. So that is called a donkey and I was a little boy and I went hunting with my dad in Africa we have a donkey so there's water in there and you make fire under it and that's how you make hot water and that's how we do it here in the Karoo we are just driving up to where we're gonna have sundowners 
we have to shift the vehicles into low range which is what we're doing right now and I'm gonna show you the most amazing sunset people I hope that I can capture that for you on this GoPro it is the GoPro Hero 7 I hope it's gonna be fine look at this Good job! Good job! Huh? How amazing is that? That's beautiful. How was today? Indescribable. It was, a, it was a tough journey, but we made it. We made it safely. We made it happy. And look at this. It's like, what more could you ask for? It's, it's gorgeous. Amazing. Thanks, little guy. on that side is the series mountain. Uh, the reason why this place is here right, it's officially the driest place in South Africa. Rock Bell Mountains cuts off the summer rainfall and the series mountains cuts off the winter rainfall. The last time that it rained was seven years ago. So this is also officially Right, so I'm going to ask for a volunteer. That volunteer is going to ring that bell. Right. So when the sun touches the horizon, whoever's going to volunteer, take a big stone and you whack that bell there. Right. And then we're going to have a moment of silence. The reason why we're going to have a moment of silence, and that's also why we're wearing the tie, is to show respect for another day that is passed in your life. So the seven stones that you have in your hand, each stone represents ten years of your life. Ten years of your life. I trust you. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> like, like, okay, so the amount of years that you've lived, take those stones and throw them away. Now. Okay. I need to round mine down. Jeez, <laughs> there goes another one. Okay, so who's going to be the volunteer? Him. Are you? Live it up. Right. Since you had a cold brown, okay. you should appreciate the day. Oh, <laughs> see me out. Okay, then, then I'm going to ask for another volunteer. Justin. Okay. Okay, Justin. Take your pants off. Okay. So you're going to ring the bell. Okay. 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 So you're gonna ring the bell okay. When the sun touches the mountain. Ring the bell. Yeah. Go get ready. It's almost there. Yeah. Wait. 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 Right. And you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> ring the bell. Uh, you're gonna ring the bell once the sun. It's gone below. It's gone below. Okay. It's gone. Okay. So the idea Don't is is that in one. that time, in that time, you have silence. You reflect on the amount of stones that you have left in your hand. Because it's not yours. It's time. All we, we, we all only have time. So reflect in that moment of silence, in the respect of another day that's passed in your life, and the time that you have left in your hands. Almost touching. Hey guys, it's eight and we're still on the gravel roads, pushing for it.
What a very good morning to you. It's day two of this gravel log and let's get the show on the road. We have about nine hours of driving today. It's going to be a long road. Can we not do any tarage today? That is the question. That is the paper boat project this week. What's <laughs> up? How uh, are you guys doing? <laughs> I was with them the whole night. It was crazy. Oh yeah, me and this guy last night, man. <laughs> we had a good time. We had a good time. But yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll catch the next content. We are updating you just now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright you guys, for those of you that are not in South Africa, I don't know if you guys have this vehicle, it's called a Raptor. And I'm going to be in the Raptor today with these two clowns. <laughs> and tell me why the Raptor is such a good vehicle, just for interest sake. It's basically a rally car and yeah. a Bucky. Really? really so really Bucky's cool. a truck you guys? <laughs> yeah, sorry, in a truck. Which is pretty fucking cool. Yeah. So this is the Tanko International Airport and uh, this is where the planes fly in for Africa Burn. Get up to date! Okay, we just had to quickly stop because the hay bales want to come off and luckily there's a sailor on the trip so I quickly fastened with a half inch. Can't believe it. Can you see these raindrops? <laughs> you usually don't see this often, eh? In the Karua? No. It hasn't what the rained here in like six same, years. Six years. Crazy. Oh, we're lucky, lucky are we? It's 20 kilometers from the farm and suddenly it's not great. Yeah. Price the year, man. I can't it for it. I can't it for it. My hand is not. This is the rest of the GoPro. I'm actually trying to think how I can mount the GoPro outside of the vehicle. That would be amazing. Okay, Owens, ons laai af nou hier so by die boer. So ons het dit gemaakt. 3, 3, 83 behalen. Feels so good being able to help, eh? It's so nice. We, uh, when we came here, the, the two farmers, the women, the tani, when they saw all the bell, they said, the, they, they said, is this all for us? And we said, yes. They just started crying and I had to walk away. I was going to cry too. So it's really, really tough here, eh? Going rough. I'm gonna try and do a little interview with the farmer, but I don't want to put the camera in his face, really. But hello, man. What is your plus? And you want to say thank you for you? I say bye, thank you, brother. I want to do it with my heart. I can't even worry about you. But thank you, because we're absolutely in a crisis here. So, rivier is dringend nodig, anders gaan geen dieren op die veld meer overleven. Nee, maar bye, thank you for all, for your support of iemand, allemaal wat betrokken is, en voor allemaal wat geschenkt het. En ik want to do it with my heart. Hoor, bye, thank you. Thank you, him. We're leaving the farm now and I must be honest, I almost cried yeah. 20 times. So I'm going to switch this camera off and then I'm going to let the tears flow because I really feel very, very sad for these people. So good. I want to say thank you. Uh, this was a really great initiative uh, and uh, we could definitely see the impact that it made. So thank you, Manesh and Kieran for this act. Absolutely. <laughs> on the gravel road, that's the smartest thing I've ever done, but... <laughs> so we're doing gravel roads, we have a nice big... 
big beautiful moon all right guys we are approaching new Batesta. it is 9 p.m right now and uh, it's been a really long day but it's been a successful day because we are still on gravel roads and we did not touch ATAR road today and we're tired it's been a long day and we're still just 600 kilometers away from Cape Town and it's been two days of driving <laughs> so we can't wait to get there and go have a cold beer and go to bed what do you call this in Afrikaans? Bray. what is a braai in English? <laughs> there's not something like that it's a braai is a braai eh? thank you for feeding us thank you it's a pleasure we are a new Batesta and I just want to show you in South Africa how we make toast. With a fire, my friend. Yeah, yeah, very nice. <laughs> this is the owner of the farm and this is where we at and we're gonna have breakfast and hit the road. Good morning, Jas. What up, what up, what up? Hi. Justin, but it, uh, at least you've got cold. Look how nice, guys. This is the type of stuff you see when you don't take the tar roads. Yeah, but that's, you must remember, like, Table Mountain doesn't really exist, that's from the copy. Uh, Renes for judgment. After three days, we have our first flat tire. So we're just changing that quickly and then we're carrying on on our merry way on the gravel road. <laughs> Guys, guess what Captain Liu spotted? A Liu. There's the one. There's the other one. Very appropriate song, my friend. Absolutely. Africa, magic place. Magical. Magical. Just want to point out that every single place that we've been to has had a fire burning when we arrive. Look how absolutely stunningly beautiful this place is. Man, I am so fortunate. Yo. All right, you guys, we are in Bloemhof Dam, and I would like to speak to this guy that almost just lost his bucky. <laughs> we just I, saw you in the rearview mirror, and the bike was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, whoa, whoa. No, that was intentional. You know what I'm saying? So, it was intentional. It was intentional. <laughs> because the video said, yo, it's a, it's a shop thing. And I was like, I'm going to go for it. Did you? Yeah. And then it went, yes. And then I was like, whoa. Yeah. And then, yeah. It looked fun. Well done. It's been good. It's been fun. Four days. It's the last yes. day. Woo! Amazing! <laughs> okay, you guys. It's the end of a four-day trip. Look at these trucks. It was probably one of the most amazing things I have ever done in my life. This has been coming back home, you know, starting the series on YouTube on the Paper Boat Project. It's just been absolutely fantastic and but but this episode was really so much fun to create for you guys four days lots of fun people and um i have some bad news bad news is that these guys have flights tonight from the airport and the rain was so heavy that we i mean you can see the rain was so heavy that we have we've been slowed down so much and we're gonna have to take the tar road to get back to the airport so we will never know if it is actually possible to drive from Cape Town all the way to Pretoria unless I come back and do this again from here. Um, it's a little bit of a downer to the, the end. I really wish I could tell you how we did this and I'll make the route public for you guys so that you can see the route. From me, Captain Liu, right here on the Paperboat Project. You're awesome, man.